Hey everyone! Welcome to the stream! My name is Oblis and today we're gonna be working on some more comic pages. I mean, I'll be working on some comic pages and you guys have the incredible job of being happy. Or, I don't know, just entertaining. But anyway, welcome to everyone who's already here. Uh, welcome Chandler, Neku, uh, hey Jago, welcome to the stream, but uh, you're already leaving. But uh, it was great seeing you here anyway, I hope you have a great day today. Uh, for everyone else who's just joined in, uh, my voice is low, let me check that out. Hopefully now it's better. I don't know why this happens, but for some random reason, it seems like like I don't know. My microphone volume just goes down randomly whenever. So I don't know what's up with that, really. But anyway, here we are, we have a comic page, I've already did some planning beforehand, not even big, but now we can actually get to work on it. Uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's the same as usual, I'll be talking, you guys possibly doing some enjoying and Everyone will get along just fine. Also, um, if you guys want to join the voice chat on Discord, you're welcome to join it. Although I'll be on another room this time, I'll be on the stream chat room, which is uh, which is a kind of a hidden room, so the moderators will be able to move you guys into it or me. Just let me know. Also, hey everyone, uh, Diego, you said your cat is doing a lot better, or are showing signs of doing better. That's great to hear. Uh, I don't know how else. Uh, I don't know much about animals and health. I mean, when it comes to health issues and whatnot. But yeah, I'm hoping everything goes alright. Oh, so... Let me just... Define these frames here already. Put everything in place so I can... Get to sketching. Also, hey, uh, hey Dante, welcome to the to the stream. Welcome, Rodi Sabes. I, you're you're a new face in here. Haven't ever seen you before. Welcome to the stream. And to everyone else who's already been here and I may have missed, welcome to you too. Uh, there is a possibility though that the that the strings is showing that I'm playing Tomb Raider, but uh, I changed it. I updated it to the creative, but it may not be showing correctly yet. So uh, you have to forgive me for that one. There isn't much I can do about it. Also, hey, Dobby, welcome to the stream. Um, Rodi, you've been you've been in the Discord group for a while, but you're new to the stream. Well, welcome to the stream as well. And I hope you have fun here. Now you can join the conversation and whatnot. Uh, sure thing, Diego. Uh, have a great day at work today. 
and try and have some fun as well, if possible. Uh, also, Dolby Shep, welcome to the stream. And one thing I've been remembering about you is that you you used to go by Claude, or you still do. So I don't know what would you rather me call you. Also, uh, sad to hear that you're sick at home, but also at least you're home. I hope you're getting some rest and drinking lots of liquids and pretty much staying your st staying hydrated. Also, Neku, no naughtiness today. It is not the time to be naughty yet. That's only a, the, in the after hours. Which we haven't reached yet, so... So, keep your pants on. <coughs> uh, Dobby, you say that Claude is your first solo name. So, um... So I'll keep calling you Dobie, is that so? Or no. What would you rather me call you? Or maybe I can just call you a little ship chap ship chap 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 Whatever whatever works. Oh so I did some sketching already, but I have very little idea on how to go about this, so possibly won't be following the 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 groundwork I've laid for this page. Uh, so hey, Neku, thank you so much for becoming a subwoofer. Now you can use these awesome, awesome little emotes I've done. Or maybe they're not so awesome, but anyway, you can use it now. And thank you so very much. Also, hey Bones, welcome to the stream. And Chandler, time to draw more good boys. Uh, yeah, to them drawing the eighth page of the comic. It's not a. There isn't much going on. It's just another page. For those of you who are following the comic on Patreon, you probably know what's up, for those of you who aren't. And yeah, my seem like a little disconnected and random in general. Uh, before I go and start doing the tales, let me just go and do some general sketching, just putting things in places just so I know what's up later on. <clears throat> and what else is going on? Uh, that's fine, I can call you Shep, Sheep, Shep, I think Shep, Shep, Claudy or Puppy. I know one of these goes, so yeah, I'll, I'll be doing that. And thank you. Uh, so, what do you have actually? I mean, supposing, I mean, it's winter over there, so I think it's, you have probably a cold. Hopefully, it's nothing, no, nothing too serious. Also, if any of you are on Discord and would like to partake in the conversation via voice, you can join in the Discord and voice chat with me and whoever else joins. Also, Bones, don't plot on destroying poor, poor, the poor small ship. 
He's, he's very precious. And we need him. Mm. Now I uh, I've also been doing some trace back research. I've looked at a, a thing I used to do a lot before when I had little less time, less free time, weirdly, was read a lot of comics. Um, every now and then, whenever I was on the bus going to college, I, I used to go and, uh, and read other comics. I, I read the whole of Saga, I read... What else did I read? I read a new comic coming out, it's uh, Curse Words, I read Birthright, every now and then I would walk the walk, the, would read The Walking Dead, the comic version, and although The Walking Dead I normally let it um, pile up before going to read, because that comic is not, it's not, not so good when you read it in small portions, you need to give huge bites on it. <clears throat> uh, Dobby, you screamed that Doug, I've known you since you were a dumb Rondo Gator. And I don't doubt it, but I certainly do not remember. I apologize, but I really don't remember. I'm a, I'm a very, very confused and. And I have a poor memory. Uh, especially when people go and change like that. They, if, if people go and change personas or whatever, uh, it's even harder for me to find people. So you have to give me a crash course on your history some of these days. And so our. I possibly do remember this Rondo Gator phase you had, but you have to give me some reminders. So yeah, whenever whenever you're free, do give me a shout out on Telegram and and lay lay before me all your history, and I'll probably remember. If I don't, then well, then I don't know. I guess I'll give you a piece of chocolate or something. And Chandler, it's been very warm this winter, like the earth is on fire warm. It's weird, especially for northern states like Utah. I didn't know Utah was so far up north. I mean, I always felt like it was more central slash south-ish. But if it is as far up north as you say it is, and it's super warm, and I don't know, maybe global warming is true after all, and we're all gonna die. Hopefully not today. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I, I have a case of the coughs every single day. I apologize in advance for coughing a lot. Also, let me... Uh, and you, Chandler, you also scream Trugarano. You say a hello from the other side. Uh, he is taking a shower, and I'll let you let let you guys know. I'll let him know. You guys said hey before. Also, Rody, thank you so very much for following me on 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 this platform, Twitch. Thank you so very much. And Neku, you just subscribed for the emoji. Thank you so much, still, for subscribing. And Dobby, it was right when Golden Week started too. So I, I definitely do not remember. It was 2012. I was 19 back then. I have no idea what was up in, that. in those days. I do remember very little things, in fact. So yeah, I'll have to refresh my memory. But anyway, sorry. 
I'll do my best to try and remember. Uh, Bones, no love for W. Shep this morning. I hope you feel better. Yeah, I mean, it's very sad for a dog to be sick. You, you have to get better. You have to get better and healthy. So get to it. Rest harder. And, and become healthy again. Uh, Chandler, it's Northwest Utah, yes. Why are you speaking like Yoda? Uh, Rudy, what is this comic about anyways? Um, it's a sequel to a comic I'd done before. The previous one was called Call Me Daddy. This one is called Call Me Father. It's pretty much a group of friends that get together in a bar and they kind of start exchanging stories about ex-boyfriends and um, yeah it's a lot of um, it's a lot of oh well, slice of life sort of uh, stories but I also try to tackle with problems I haven't seen other comics or series I recently watched dealing with. The previous one, the Call Me Daddy, it's kind of a more of a, a tackle on extremes, extreme fetishes, and this one is more of a well, I'm not even gonna say it because it, it'll be spoiler heavy if I go out and say it. But yeah, this one is also about another relationship that didn't work out and this guy and this guy is telling the story. So we're gonna find out in the next few pages why it didn't work out. And what's up with these guys? But anyway, you can read the comic for free. It's um on Call Me Daddy Come comic.tumblr.com and you can call and you can also read my previous comic golden week by going to goldenweekcomic.com or goldenweekcomic.tumblr.com and you can read this comic for free because that's my life I do comics for free and somehow I earn money on patreon enough to be able to keep doing that also fuck this pose of a stranger dude let's Go with this one I already had in here. Bleh. <coughs> and Dobie says, "Bones, you've no you. He's no you since another person as well." And Bones is a truth. Clef was when you guys connected. Whatever Clef is, Chandler said, "Rest harder." It just came out of the way that kind of word order isn't as common as one might think. I don't know. It's, it looks weird for me, but yeah, I, I was able to get it in, nonetheless. And Dobie, why the air quotes or the quote unquote, the air quotes on connected? Now I know there is a story there, and I'm curious to to hear it. <clears throat> Rody, you've you have read Call Me Daddy. Uh, hopefully, it didn't freak you out tremendously as I expected to have done for other people. And uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this one as well. This one will also be dealing with sort of uh, delicate subjects, but hopefully, everyone will enjoy it because. As far as I've seen, people have been liking these new characters I have come up with. And hopefully everyone will be interested in knowing what's their deal and what's their history. Bones, you're gonna you're going back to work already. Oh that's um yeah that's sad, but uh in any case, thanks for, for stopping by for as little as you did. And I'll be here all day. I mean, not all day. I'll be here all afternoon. So, if you're free, you do come back later. We would be super happy to have you again. 
Uh, Rudy, it's an interesting story. But the Golden Week, both the Golden Week is a fun read, a fun read too. And thank you so very much. I'm really glad you appreciate it. Um, I feel like I missed something you guys said. But anyway. And Rolly, you said you loved, I mean, you said it didn't freak you out and you loved the touch of realism. And thank you. I mean, a lot of people seemed to be intrigued by what I was doing with that. So I'm happy that my definitely not super common take to this subject was received so well. By not common, I mean I didn't say, hey, this is a porn story, so let's all have fun and forget about real life implications. Or realism implications, rather. Uh, Neko, you gotta say that Nathan just cupped your magenta eyes. Uh, possibly. I have done I had done your commission your badge before I had even came up with this character so yeah possibly I the idea for the magenta or purple eyes came from you or other people many other people who also have characters with purple purple slash magenta slash red eyes so yeah it was definitely an inspiration <clears throat> and Dobby you're now on your computer uh, make sure you also bring a bottle of water with you because I have to keep hydrated and also bring some pillows because you also have to get some rest so make sure you're in a very good spot right now able to get rest and able to get all the things you need to get better Rody, you say that Nathan's purple eyes is intriguing too I'm glad you like it. There isn't much to it, really. I just said, hey, I want to do a character with some non-conventional eye color, and then that came up. There's no actual story to it. Neku, you pressed the unbut unfollow button by mistake. You're sorry. You thought it would appear on alert. I don't know if it does that. I think the Streamlabs has some countermeasures for people to not spam or abuse the alerts because depending on depending on what people set up as alerts on their streams it can really hog up all the, the audio indefinitely so yeah, I would assume they have come up with some sort of countermeasure, so you can abuse the follow button and get alerts popping up all day, every day. <coughs> I don't know how it works. Also... Chandler, you said that Nathan is a cute boy. Um, his eyes are purple, not magenta, though. Neko, you say say magenta because it's a bright purple, but you joke around. And yeah, I mean, if we are get, gonna get into actual colors, then the both of us may probably be well. Everyone might may be wrong because let me. Let me do some googling real quick. Uh, purple. 
So if I go to Google, search for purple, it will shoot me to a Wikipedia article, which I can open, and it will give me a shitload of stuff that are, that are purple. And it will give me this really crazy. Just a moment, you guys. Just a moment, what I'm doing is just fine. And there we go. No, not in this one, in this. Okay, let's have it here. So these are shades of violet and these are shades of magenta. We have a shitload of colors. I'll open the one of the few previous pages of the comic. Just because I... We got... Uh, I don't know which one. I'll just open some random page here. I think you can open the first page of this new comic. And... If you come here... Actually, uh, Nathan's eyes were darker, but I made them brighter because well, I don't know. I just feel like this looks better. So now we go here, create a new layer, make a blob of whatever color this is. That is Nathan's color, and we kind of just drag it around, comparing with the other colors we have in here. And I would say it looks. Hmm, it looks more so like these colors over here in the right. Or this one here right there in the middle. Which would be either Orchid or Ultra Pink or Purple Pizzazz. Or even Fuchsia. Or Steel Pink or Sky Magenta or Mulberry. Brighter version of Mulberry. So yeah, that that's it. So it's neither magenta nor purple, it's ultra pink. That's the name actually. <laughs> and yeah, I just got myself some food. Some tasty tasty french fries. Neko, you said it's magenta because the magenta door in Virtue's Last Reward, it's the Luna's door. Uh, did the character from that game also have purple eyes? I feel like one of them did. And... Neko, like your first commission, you asked to use a purple eyes, the artist brightened it, and you loved it. So you asked a friend what color is this, and she said magenta. So that's the thing, maybe. Dante, you said, holy heck. Uh, what about the, actually, the incredible amount of colors that uh, Wikipedia has if you Google for that color? Oneiko, you want my, my, my french fries, I will not give them to you, they're mine. This is my food. And... Chandler, you thought magenta is more of a darker red? Is the darker value coming from blue? I don't actually know. I think it is. I think uh, magenta is... No... Let me check the color wheel real, real quickly. It's something... Yeah, it's something kind of bluish. If you mix uh, red and blue... Kinda get a... Purple, you get kind of get a purple, but if you 
add some lightness to it, you get magenta. Magenta is lighter than actual purple. I don't know how it goes, but that's the thing. And Neku, the only character in Zero Escape that has purple eyes is Akane, the cutie pie. And I don't remember, actually. And Dante, I've never been the best at distinguishing and labeling colors like that. So all of that was just too much. And yeah, if you get serious about it, there's a lot of colors going around. So yeah, I, that's why I don't really get caught up in colors. If somebody goes and say, hey, I want this to be purple. I have a general idea of what they mean by purple. And I see what other colors are in there. So say, if there is purple. I don't know what the person mean by, exactly means, means by purple. But they say they also want red. And say, blue. Then I have a better idea that they had they want a darker purple. Maybe. But all but if they go hey I want purple, but they go with brighter colors like a bright blue, maybe some yellow, then I will have a better notion that they are actually Well maybe they want a dark purple, but uh design wise it'll be better for a lighter color. So I'll take my own judgment into what shade of purple I want or which one I think will look best. Aneko, you were actually hungry when you want my I frit potatoes. I will not give them to you. And Chandler. It would seem that magenta is closer to red than purple because too much blue would turn the red into a very strong dark purple. And sort of, yeah. Maybe, I don't know, actually look into Wikipedia or Google, I don't know. One of them will be able to help you better with that. Meanwhile, I'll do some drawing and eat my potatoes.
And I'm back! I just had me some french fries and now uh, my hunger is sated. Also I'm not making any more disgusting chewing noises. So I muted the microphone and I can get back to talking to you guys. Because I know you guys would rather... Well I actually don't know anything. I'm just talking because people said it would make for better entertainment than just trolling. And so yeah, that's why I'm talking. <clears throat> also, you went on and on and on about language once again. Uh, Chandler, you asked if that's archaic talk though. Naiku, you say throw your, your chest and on and on and on and on. The way you learned to talk like this, why by playing video games. You complain that I'm muting my friend my I'm muting my microphone to eat my French fries. <laughs> more and more and more stuff but uh yeah <clears throat> like it or not a lot of people here in Brazil who speaks good English learned it well young people who knows good English learned it by playing games so yeah maybe playing games in a foreign language is a good way to learn that said foreign language so yeah, next time you pick up a new game, if you have never played it before, try playing it in, I don't know, whatever language you'd like to learn, and see how you do. You probably will feel lost and confused, and you probably will play without knowing the whole thing, it'll be challenging, it'll be hard, you do stuff you shouldn't be doing, but you have fun, somehow. And you start to pick up on words and terms and whatever. So yeah, catch you it. <clears throat> uh, Neko, you ask if my li my lion is selling french fries as you'd buy and no this is um, leftovers from yesterday's lunch because yesterday we ordered takeout food and, and we also ordered a serving of french fries to go with said food and it was very good but we also had a lot of food so some french fries were left over and now we just ate them. So that's the best story you ever heard in your entire life. And you send a link, people can see because they're mobile, so you transcribe it for us. Orange is saying that which men think it a trifle in the having, he mourn it as a treasure in the losing, a tired platitude, but one which shall haunt me. On to my dying day. I agree with Chandler, that's profound as fuck. And you also learn how to read from video games. That's cool. And Echo, whenever watching watching a thing, you watch it in English. So you get more used to the way they talk, and you do not need subtitles. That's fun. Although I am unable to watch things on subtitles because I have sort of bad hearing. So if I'm not using, well, if I'm not watching the thing on, on headphones, I don't get it. 
because I can't hear whatever is going on, so subtitles do help. I stopped needing subtitles after the point at which I'm used to the voice of the person, but to get used to the voice of the person you have to listen to them for hours and hours and hours. Or at least enough time that by then you have already missed a lot. So yeah, it's not super fun. But um, anyway you guys, I kind of owe you guys an apology because I was supposed to be... I was supposed to have have had streamed yesterday, I didn't because last week I was super exhausted I thought that the weekend would help me rest, it didn't so I had to go and take a nap but anyway I was trying to gather up some strength to unhype myself up for streaming yesterday but I didn't I mean, I couldn't. I just had nothing prepared, I knew it was not doing okay, so if I came to stream, I would, would have delivered it in under a subpar performance. I would not have talked much, I would kept sketching without knowing what was going on. I would be tiring myself even more. <clears throat> I mean, I always do. But I would be tiring myself and without do rest, I would I would not have been a good host at all. So I decided it was better for me to just rest than to try and, and stream nevertheless. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind it, but yesterday I was just like a bike. I was too tired. Neko, you ask also Kim, why isn't our emoji dog one cheer? What do you mean by that? Um, I don't know what you mean. At all. If you're meaning the uh, the the code for the emoji. Ah, it's Dogla one cheer, not do cheer. Um, as it goes, I can't determine the name of the of the thing myself because it seems like Twitch it gets the it gets the name of the channel. It reduces it to a I don't know a six letters, a number, six letters and a number based on the name of the channel to create the, the shortcut, so I can't choose it. Uh, I can't choose it and I can't change it. Unless I'm like super, hyper, mega famous and I have enough leeway to go and negotiate with them like, hey, can't you change the name of my thing? But then again, I'm not that big, so I can't go making demands to the team. It took them actually weeks to approve these emotes you guys are using. So yeah, um, I can't ch I can't choose what they'll they'll be, how their names will, will appear. So yeah, it's like that, and I can't change it, and we all have to deal with it. And uh, also, you did not sleep well at all. You did not sleep. Uh, Chandler, you're up. Uh, explain to Neku why his grammar is wrong in that sentence. But uh, why did you guys didn't sleep well? Did something happen? Did you guys have nightmares? Did people were being loud? What happened? You guys should have had good nights of sleep. You guys need your rest too. Everyone needs to have a good night of rest.
Also, hey, Neku, uh, you've told me, and yes, you have. But I'm kind of extending the, the invite to everyone who would like to talk about it. But yeah, you already told me, so we don't have to tell again if, it, if you would not like. Um, the, yeah, if you'd like to share it with everyone else, you can. Also, fucking hands. But yeah, I mean, you didn't tell me what was wrong. But then again, our subject, we started with you didn't sleep well and afterwards we were talking about all sorts of other things. So yeah, I had sort of forgot that the start of the conversation altogether was that you didn't sleep well because of it. So sorry about that. But I'm a confused dog most of the times. So I ask that you, that you have some patience with me. And there we go. It looks like he is holding uh, chopsticks, but um, it doesn't. It doesn't look right. I don't know why exactly. Let me try and mimic the bows with my own hands and get you it. Just a moment, huh? Just a moment. Um, talk about what? Asks Chandler. And talk about why you guys didn't sleep well. If you are into talking about that. And Neku already summed it up. Too long didn't read depression. Also, Walter, <clears throat> welcome to the stream. Morning egg burrito, coffee, and my stream. Sweet. Um, ah, apparently you use all of your fingers to hold chopsticks. I mean, you don't, but uh, there's two ways to hold chops chopsticks, actually. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm holding pencils in my hand like I hold chopsticks to get references. Oh, this will take a moment. Hmm. Okay, I think I got it. But um, yeah, I, I suppose I should start the conversation by talking myself about why uh, why I was so tired. <clears throat> Chandler, uh, anywho, when using the helping verb to do, only it's conjugated, only it is conjugated, and the verb that immediately follows is always in the infinitive. Not sure if anyone legitimately had that question, but there it is anyway. Um, Walter, you use three fingers. I was just looking at that. I, I use, yeah, I use. My thumb, the index, and the middle finger. But uh, I was looking more so like in the other two fingers, how do they behave? If they... If, if you close them really tightly against your palm, if you leave them kind of just lazily laying around. I was looking into that. Trying to figure out how hands work. It's hard. It's hard work actually trying to figure out this sort of stuff. I have found. Anyway, uh, it is well. Uh, it is cause of. To type, I did not slept.
And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. You said slept when you should have said sleep, and I'm being a jerk by correcting you. So sorry about that. But yeah, the other day I said I would start talking out when people uh, had committed grammar mistakes, but so I could help my fellow friends get better at language. But um, I don't know how to do that. I apologize. But, um, yeah, like I said, let me start the conversation on why I'm so tired. And then, if you guys would like, you guys can go and talk about your own experiences as well. I. Last week I had. I hung out with a lot of friends. And we were drinking a lot. I actually even posted a lot on Twitter about it, about it, me drinking and whatnot. And on the next day I had a hangover, so I was really tired, I was sluggish, sleepy, and yet I had to work, I had a stream later in the night and I, did, I had not finished the comic page. So instead of having, so on my off time, instead of resting and going like, hey, I'm... I'm on my rest time, I have... I, I'm gonna enjoy my company, I'm gonna enjoy this time, I am I can be doing anything I want. I was actually thinking about the work I had not finished and the stuff I had, I had to do. So I woke up and I was like, hey, I have, I have work to do, I have unfinished business. So I spent all day, all morning, stressed, working on the comic, kind of against the time, trying to finish the page, to post it, and it was a holiday, worst of all, so I don't know. So yeah, I, that was tiresome. Hmm. And then by night I had to go on the stream. And in the end, I didn't get an, enough rest. Besides, um, I did find out that this whole uh, this whole streaming thing, despite being fun, it is really taxing on me mentally. Because whenever I interact with people a lot, I get tired talking to people and interacting with people tires me out and that's not a bad thing per se but I should regularly take breaks from interacting with people and normally I would go days on the end without talking to other people but due to this whole streaming thing I spent the last few weeks talking to people sort of talking to, not with, but talking to people non-stop. So yeah, it really stressed me and got me real tired, more tired than I, than I realized. So when the... So when the... So when Monday came I thought, hey, I had a whole weekend to rest, maybe now I'm good, but I wasn't. And then came yesterday and I said, whoa, I'm really tired, I can't do this, I have to <clears throat> I have to rest, I have to lie down and take a nap. Sometimes actually, maybe it wasn't even the fact that I... It wasn't even the fact that I took a little nap that helped me rest, it was possibly the fact that I that I felt agency over my life, I could go and say, hey, I'm not gonna do the thing that is tiring me out today. Just this little act of rebellion, possibly, is what helped me relax a little bit. <coughs> also, hey, Spike, welcome to the stream! I thought you would be streaming today. But uh, welcome, nonetheless. Uh, Neko, you said Kimmy is drinking. You say 
hey, don't drink, it's bad, and then I said, let me drink, the next day I was having a hangover, and yeah, that's pretty much what happened. But then again, at least I'm learning how to drink. Like, the first few times I went out with these friends to drink, I would actually... I would actually dr drink way too much and then I'd come back home and I'd be super... super drunk. And I'd end up... Um, I didn't even know the, the correct English term for this, but I would pretty much... Uh, end up barfing all over because I can't hold drink for shit but then as I kept drinking with the guys I realized that as soon I as beer stopped tasting good that's when I knew okay that's my limit that I can't drink anymore so now I keep drinking, I just drink, I get super crazy and then when beer stops tasting good or acceptable at least, that's when I reach my that's how I know I reached my limit and if I drink anymore I'll end up barfing. So I drink just enough to get super crazy but before reaching that limit. And echo streaming is tired because you gotta check two monitors at once, also everything. And yes, I am very, very introvert. Uh, Chandler said the same. Spiker said streaming fully wears you out. You feel me? Uh, Chandler also spent after spending four, three to four hours with someone, you need to retreat and be with yourself for a couple of days. Yeah, that's the thing that a lot of us have. We, after interacting with people for so long, we need to actually take a break from humanity and society itself and pretty much isolate ourselves in the dark corners of our rooms and not talk to anyone. That's how we recharge, I guess. Even if you didn't do any sort of physical activity, just talking to people is tiresome just being around them and you're well, Chandler you're very shocked that Spiker is here uh, Walter you said sounds like mental exhaustion yeah that's that yeah that's what I figured it was at first I was mentally exhausted but um yeah back I've I actually back in college I had to deal with being exhausted and still going out and doing things and I don't know if it's actually the whole well back in college I thought hey it's because I have to do a shitload of um, um, I don't even know what you call these I had to do a tree paper um, drawings and illustrations and pretty much uh, concept art designs for stuff and then deliver them within days so I had very little time to do a lot of work and I and I also felt the same way so I thought hey uh, maybe it's I'm working a lot but then again I'm not doing as much work as I was doing college so I thought hey maybe the problem in this case is people I mean me dealing with people but anyway uh, Chandler you see you're doing drawing a culture doge um, yeah he's a doge that knows how to to hold chopsticks so that's so that's pretty innovative as far as science goes And he also asks, is, also asks if Spiker is gonna be streaming today, to which Spiker answers that no. And uh, why is that, Spike? I thought you were streaming all week except Fridays, I think. Or did you change your schedule? Because I've been wondering about that. Last week you did 
say you were not gonna stream on Friday, but you did in the end. I wonder. Uh, Neko, you said you're probably you're the friend who would not drive and be the designated driver. So that's good. But then again, um, I don't know. After you go to well, not parties, but after when you go out with friends and everyone's drinking and everyone starts to get real crazy and talk all sorts of things because they are drunk. I don't know if if you would still f if you would feel left out or. How? Because indeed, there are some people who don't like to drink at all. But some people, they 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 don't drink just because they are the designated driver. They do miss out on the whole drinking bonanza. Then again, you said that you never drank before, so I wonder about that. Uh. Um, Chandler, you don't drink alcohol either, you never appeal to you. And I don't know, I also never got into alcohol myself. Just lately that I have been drinking a lot of beer. Possibly because of the company I've been keeping. But yeah. I have, I've always been afraid to get into drinking. Because, well, first, I never had enough money to go around buying drinks. And I, I've always been afraid because I, a lot of uh, relatives, they had drinking problems and they thought, hey, it's drinking is bad and if I, if I become an addict, that's gonna be really bad. So a lot of things I never, I have never got to do because I fear of becoming an addict. Especially because I know how I am, and I know that if I, if I, I try something out and I really like it, I'll probably become an addict to it. Because I don't know, if it, if it makes me feel better, and it's something I can just go and get, then why not? But even that's how addictions develop. Well, that's my perspective on it, at least. And, uh, Walter sounds like an introverted personality. And yeah, I think that that's, that's who I am. And Chandler, you predicted most of us here are introverted. Maybe INFGs, Js. Gs, Js, I don't know. Um, I don't know exactly what that that acronym means. I do know their personality types, but I don't know which one is that. So good on you for memorizing those. And do you have the test link? I think that if you Google for types of personality, you you find it like the first result. Uh, wow, you guys already did the test. That's that was quick. Uh, Spiker, you changed you changed your schedule to fit your wife's schedule a bit. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's why I started uh, doing later streams as well. Because uh, ev so far I've been doing the streams during the afternoon because. Yeah. That's why my boyfriend he works. So I thought, hey, hey. By the way, that's him speaking, and him on the phone. Anyway, um, that's when he's working. So I thought, hey, I'm free on the afternoon, so let's get to streaming. But now he's changed his schedule, so now he works during the morning. So we have the whole afternoon free. So for some days we decide, hey, let's um. Instead of streaming in the afternoon, I'll stream it during the night. And so I still have the. I st uh, that so we can do stuff in the afternoon, like, I don't know, going out for a walk or whatever. But yeah, I mean. 
after a point in life, I have enough responsibilities and enough constants of, or rather variables in your life that you have to plan around these things as well. Also, he has a very loud voice. Uh, whoa. So many text. Also, King, I mean, Neko, you just dropped a very dank joke on us. In Portuguese, at least. But anyway. Also, Walter, mind if I hop on chat? No, you're welcome to join the, the, the voice chat. Uh, there is a Discord, you guys can join the voice chat. Uh, so far, it's, it's just me there. So, yeah. Uh, Neko, you won't smoke nor drink beer for now, you're too depressed and it might turn, turn bad. Uh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. If you... If you're not in a good spot and you start and you try something out and it gets you into a good spot, you, you think, hey, it was because of this thing that I'm feeling better now. And that's how addictions begin, I, I think. So yeah, I know... Uh, every now and then I'm not feeling super okay, so if I start, say, smoking, and I start to feel okay, I'll blame it on the smoking, and then I'll start smoking regularly. Good morning. Hey, Walter, welcome to the voice chat. How are you doing today? You're muted, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. Hey, hey, Walter, welcome to the shed. Alright, so I'm caught up. Uh, Spiker, you have the opposite of an addictive personality. What would that be? Literally meaning that he doesn't find anything interesting, more or less. Yeah, maybe. Addicting personalities typically means that he has a, a, a click for something and once he starts doing it He wouldn't be able to stop which in my case. I technically have an addictive personality uh, Yeah, I, I figured that a lot of people have this Some people just never really got to try some certain things out Due to I don't know whatever reason um, Typically it's confidence Sometimes it's also the fact that um, they don't have the pressure to be able to do it in the first place, which also is not that bad, but at the same time can be bad. Yeah. It takes uh, something else to drive you into trying something out. And if yeah. you don't have that initial push, then you will never get to experiment the thing that will get you addicted in the first place. Yeah. By the way, a while back ago, the... Um, those different letters, the um, INF, INFJ, those are personality tests. Oh, yeah, uh, I was actually, uh, I, I actually know about that. I just don't know which one exactly this one is, because uh, I think there's like sixteen of them. Yes, there is, because there's four separate types of personalities. And typically, it usually um, stems down to um, your per your uh, extrovert, introvert, um, see. extrovert, introvert, logical, um, emotional, emotion, yeah, logical, and emotional. Um, God, I actually have to look this up. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> In the meanwhile, I'll see what else everyone else is saying. What? Yeah. Uh, Chandler, you're a dank meme addict. And Neku, that was not my phone, I explained it before. And... Spiker, streaming and quality time are hard to combine, you're finding. Uh, yeah, I mean, in a way... Yeah, in a way, streaming is like working pretty much, and you, and it isn't always super fun. I mean, it is fun, but it it it's work. So I mean, you sort of get, uh, 
have a work mentality when doing it sometimes and that can lead to for for it to be stressful because because if you were doing it for fun the quality would not be so good you would not be caring so much about things like audio quality you will not be caring about video quality about interruptions you would not care if there's if you leave everything running for hours on end just like hey I'm gonna take a quick break now and I'll just go do whatever you have a lot of concerns and these concerns put you into a work sort of mentality and that that leads to stream not being fun time it is fun but it's not just fun it's a lot of mental a lot of mental work yeah, I mean, there's works and things that requires more mental capacity to execute. So yeah, when it comes to that, streaming is super, super chill. You're not like doing heart surgery or whatever. Uh, but pretty much is. Because if you're not up to some people's standards, your hands will start to shake. Yeah. There's... As far as work, or rather occupations goes, uh, streaming is pretty, pretty, it's pretty chill. But it is still some sort of work, and you have to to take it with certain seriousness. So you can't consider streaming a uh, fun time. You also have to dedicate other time to do actual fun things, even even playing games off the stream. So hey, I play games on the stream for the sake of the stream, but I also play games outside of the stream because because then I can play without the pressure of having to entertain people, keeping tabs on the quality and all that. So it's super so weird. Then, so then, should I prod you about um, some the to finish off Dark Souls? Uh, come again? Then should I prod you about finishing Dark Souls? Uh, I don't know, really. Uh, I've been thinking about it, I mean, maybe streaming the Dark Souls as we are playing, but then I would have to... I would have to take care of so many things, like playing with you and also being online because of the stream. I don't know how I'll go about doing that. Maybe I'll just go and play for fun. Maybe. You know, I don't mind catching up, catching you up with the stream. Like oh. that's totally fine. If you want me to, I can help. Oh, that would be great, actually. I mean, just knowing that you're up for that. But I don't know if I'll actually go and do it. I think I, yeah. at first I'll just, I'll just see, see how it goes. It's been a while since I last played. Dark Souls as well, so there's a lot to catch up on all sorts of places and ends. Oh yeah, I've been I've been doing my run through through the first game because so, just so I can um, get myself warmed up for the remastery to come out in the next couple months. But at the same time, I'm also learning some of the new some of the old um, Dex weapons because I never actually got to play with those. Uh, when does it release again? I believe it's mid May. May. Yes. No, that's kind of far still. Yeah. But uh, what are the people saying? Uh, Actually, it's like two months away. Not really. I mean, it's February, March, April, and then May, unless it releases on the start of May. But I think uh, it'll re release kind of mid-May. May twentieth, I believe. Oh, that's the end of May. Which is worse. Um, but uh, in, my, in my case, I'm more excited just because it's um, after my anniversary with my boyfriend. I have to deal with my sister's wedding that, that month, and as well as BLFC is going to be running between the 10th and 13th of May. Uh, well, then that's a lot of uh, things to keep you occupied. But also, another thing, um. Another thing I was thinking 
uh, is that because we are in different hemispheres, uh, we just had our summer vacations. So the year is starting. So, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> but then again, in, in, in your guys' case, it's kind of reverted, so your perspective your perception on the whole year calendar is sort of different, so maybe yeah. so it'll be releasing sort of close to summer vacation, so you feel like uh, more of like mid spring, more more like towards the end of spring, yeah, yeah, close to close to summer. Then it'll be like, hey, the game will release, and then in a month it will be vacation, and we can play it forever. I mean, maybe for you, but. For me, I'm gonna have to. I'm um, actually taking um, summer college, oh. just so I can get myself back up with my education, because um, I'm way behind. Oh, that's good, actually. I mean, yeah. maybe a little heavy. I'm gonna try to push myself to go into life drawing again. What, you mean doing college classes on it? Yeah. Um, Lots of um, anatomy and hand gestures, hopefully. Mm -hmm. That's a that's good actually. Uh, I don't think you can do that in here. Take one or two college classes. You have to sign up for the entire course. Yeah, um, that sounds like a pain in the butt because um, I can't afford a full course. I have to do partial courses. But it's uh, it's it's pretty good, and oh gee, Rody save saves you're going to bed. You already went actually, so bye bye uh -huh. to you. And the the people on the chat, on the on the Twitch chat. Uh, Chandler, you said. Ah, uh, you said the same thing. Neku, oh. your, your emotion, your emotions controls you more. Your emotions control you more than you control them. How do you agree a thousand times percent? And more, Yikes. more talking. Your personality type is mediator, ENFPD, or something. Uh. Also, Chandler, you finally decided on a fursona. When I hear about it, always do give us all the details. Especially if you're free and would like to come into the voice chat, and so I don't have to keep looking at the at the Twitch chat screen so much. But again, that's up to you. And you said it's gonna be a barnacle. Come again? It's a barnacle with a lion's mane. Um, <laughs> I actually, so I, actually so rock. I actually don't know what a barnacle is. Um, think of like okay, so um, you know what a Reese's cup is, right? A what? A little Reese's cup? Mm, no. Okay, have you? Do you know? Uh, you know the shape of a of a, of a, uh, a muffin? Hmm. I can't really say that I know, uh, that I do. Okay. Think of a short cup. Think okay. of a short cup and then flip it upside down. Mm, okay. And it's all, and it has um, has a it's almost like almost like a rocky texture. Then mm. add, then add fur to the bottom like a lion's mane. Hmm. It's like a weird cylindrical thing. Be really funny to look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, burning, but that looks sounds really funny to look at. Hmm. I don't know. One thing I have come to find is that small things, like sm things, is smaller than your hand, but still big enough. And I have for the for whatever they, reason that ends up making them scary. They cling. They're in the ocean, and they cling to rocks and um, bombs of um, boats. Ah. ah. They're pretty much. Um, they don't really much move. Mm. If anything, they get flung off, and they'll attach to something else. Uh, 
I wonder what that is called in Portuguese, because I don't think I know in Portuguese either. A barnacle? Yeah, I don't know what they are called in Portuguese. Pretty sure a barnacle? <laughs> I don't think so. But then again, only the amazing people of Twitch chat can answer us that question. And Google. And Google, yeah. But then again, I'm, I'm, I'm working. Barnacle. <laughs> <laughs> Is it actually? Nope. Yes. <laughs> oh my. Also, um, a while back ago with the um, personality oh, yeah. test. This is the four. Se this is the eight separate personalities: extrovert, introvert, sensory, um, intuitive, thinker, feeler, judger, perceiver. Ooh, wants to be a judger. Uh, probably me, because I do like my organization, my planning. Um, I don't remember where, but I had read a little thing about this. But they didn't have all those eight. I think they had only four. But uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. You were gonna say something more about it, or that was all of it? Mm, that was more. That, that was the eight. That was the eight that's are that are down here. And from a personal perspective, myself, um, uh, so supposedly an introvert, though acts like an extrovert. And I have a, I guess you would call it a mother, a mother bear personality, or I guess um, a housewife personality, because I, I enjoy my housework. Mm, actually, uh, one thing about this whole introvert extrovert thing that I have found, come to find out, I realize, is that you. There's a lot of people who are brought up differently. Some people are introverts, but because of their environment and everything, they are kind of forced to talk to others and deal with a lot of social social situations. So they have an introvert nature, but they do, but they are very social. And there are extrovert people who, for whatever reason, didn't get a lot of chance to socialize. So they are extroverts, but they don't get to talk a lot. And if I'm right, these people are the ambiverts. The... where they are wanting, but they don't end up doing that thing. Well, I mean... So, this is from personal experience. Myself, um... I, again, that's the reason why I, why I can flop. Between the two, <laughs> I go out to parties. I go out to hang out, but I'm usually just there to sit around and just enjoy what I can. Um, kind of like just to take in the the, the environment. environment. Yes, um, that's the technically an extrovert, being that you're out and about with other people, but introvert because you're not really doing much. Introvert also being that I'm I'm more comfortable with by myself or at least around with my partner, who is also an introvert. He is truly an introvert, though, because he, he he sometimes has issues just hanging, just talking to me on the phone. He's better off when I'm like with him. Ah, I see. So yeah, that's that's complicated because I'll, I'll, I'll I mean, you being the staff to uh, what was it again? Big, biggest little for come? No, be love saying. Um, yeah, yeah, being being the staff to that, I figure you have to to deal with a lot of situ situa social situations. And um, I work with the um, the headless fur lounge, so it's mostly just making sure people are not getting overheated and um, mostly sanitation and making sure none of the Photographers try to jump in and try to take pictures of people without suits. Ah, I see. Ah, and so it's more of a non-talkative kind of... Oh, no, it's a very chill place, but people play music, have fun, still, like, do stuff. I like to keep it neat, nice and clean, though, with what happened last year, I, like, lost my mind because um, I found out there was a video on YouTube 
where someone took all the air, all the um, all the giant air condens, the all the um, the giant fans, pointing them upwards, and put balloons on top of them. So the entire room was just filled with balloons that were floating up in the air because of these goddamn fans. Huh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so was it because? I mean. They were able to do this because they were really good at getting around whoever was supposed to take care of it, or no? It was at four. No, it was it was it was in four in the morning. I was out cold. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, who the hell? Even Ark is gonna be looking at these kind of things at four in the morning. Who has a patty at three three o'clock in the morning? Oh boy, three o'clock. Oh wow. For anyone who doesn't know that, it's a Spongebob reference. Mm, I have no very, idea. Very old memes. <laughs> um... Ooh. Chandler, you said you wasn't aware that one could be behind in college. And Neku, you said you can't go to Discord chat cause then I will know your voice. Little do you know, I already know. Chandler, you're actually waiting for your conversation partner right now to learn either Spanish or Russian. And you guys went on into the whole barnacle uh, situation we were having. And Neku says the barnacle is a persevere. Although, I don't think you're right about that. A barnacle's a what? Uh, Persevere. I think that's a little insect that clings to fur. Technically, he's not wrong because it does. It literally is just an. It's a creature that once it clings onto something, it just doesn't move, and it just collects the bacteria underneath, underneath where the whatever it is. Hmm. Then again, I don't know a lot about the world stuff, so <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, so Bones, yeah. you're back. Welcome back. Yeah, it's good to actually have someone who knows what the heck they're talking about, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Chandler is right. Persevere is more like a tick. Or how Like a what? A tick. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Feels like it would say tick. A and tick. Okay. <laughs> And uh, Sam, welcome to the stream. You didn't miss much. I've been working for one and a half hour on this single panel. I'm really slow working today, or rather every day. Mm. And, no, and, and no, and no, Neko, I don't know your voice. I was joking. Just like my other joke I did before, nobody got it, or they did. But they ignored it because it was a bad one. That happens, you know. <clears throat> so with this whole uh, with this whole situation on on uh, what was it again? Uh, the introvertness. How oh, the personality uh, thing. Yeah. How did you uh, land up on? this work, I mean, being um, staff to the to the convention? Well, I mean, for myself, um, pers when it comes to going to staff, um, I was a volunteer at first, and they asked me if I wanted to be staff, because I'm a local, for one, I'm a local, I know a, a, a large amount of the community, and I've always been a good, uh, hard worker for them. Oh, that's good, actually. Yeah, so, um, it was an easy, it was an easy, um, way to get in and, and I still love it because I there's a lot of great people in the community who are always there to be nice be um you know be be there just be nice um by far I think one of my, one of my best um the best people I've ever, I've ever been with especially our head who is um name is Tycho the head of the of the convention the entire convention he is like the best best skunk you will ever know <laughs> I, d I don't actually think I know any, so... 
Well, when, when, if you ever um, come to um, come to here, I'd love to um, introduce you. I don't. I don't actually ever think I will. Oh. Because traveling is like super expensive. But uh, yeah, if sure. if for whatever reason I do find myself in Reno, I will do that. Especially during the convention uh, season. But then again, uh, I don't even have a passport to begin with. Ouch. <laughs> um, also, um, when was it? I think last year I went after a passport. I was like, okay, what do I need to get a passport? Because an and a random opp opportunity can come at any moment, and if I have a passport, that's good. What do I need to take one? And I went to look into what I have to do to take a passport, and I just found out that they had closed the whole... They were not issuing passports anymore. Because That's odd. The, the agency, the branch of the government that issues the passport, they were... Well, there's a whole financial crisis going on here since I don't know when. Since 2014, I think. Maybe. Um, due to some some crazy shenanigans on the politics. But anyway, there's a financial crisis going on. It never went away, and uh, a lot of people aren't getting aren't getting paid enough for their work. Like they are not getting raises. They haven't been getting raises for some years now and they they were like okay we're not getting money so we're gonna stop issuing passports because it costs too much to do those I don't know if uh, it, it actually does but they decided to stop issuing passports and then I was like okay then I guess I won't take a passport that's interesting I wonder if you're actually able to um, send passports to people yeah, but then it, it only lasted like a, a few months, and then and then it brought attention to the whole what it means and how it is to, to take a passport. So now they are issuing passports back again, and they are also uh, they're gonna make it easier for people to issue passports. They're they're requiring less documents. So interesting. Before you needed a lot of stuff. You needed, you needed like your social security number. You needed a identification card. You need a. I think you also needed a a birth certificate. A certificate of a, if you did serve in the military, if you were laid out. Uh, you also needed. If you in here voting during elections is mandatory, so if you didn't, so if you did vote, you get a certificate that you did vote, and you also needed those. So if you didn't vote, you could not take a passport. Yeah. So you needed all these documents. So now I don't well, know what they are taking out, but we are gonna need no less documents. More or less, it's the information. It's just more or less the information to understand, like where where you're where you're from, what's your background, etc. Because there is always that possibility of terrorists coming in because we don't know who is um, who's going to attack or not. And even though yes, you're you're obviously not one, but it's always a precaution for the um, for the U.S. and the and at least in that case. <laughs> yeah, but um. Yeah, I mean, after you get your passport done, you would also still need to go and get a visa for... Oh, the visa pass? Yeah, for whatever country you're going in, so not only would I need to go and, and issue a passport, after I had it, I would need to issue a visa pass for the United States for, say, 30 or 60 days for tourism. Uh -oh. And then that one could be denied for whatever reason. I mean, it's 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 very hard, but it could. But anyway, 
So yeah, there's all these uh, what what is it called? Uh, I forgot the word. But anyway, there's all these bureaucratic things you need to do if you want to go and travel. And on top of all that, you need money, which I don't have. So yeah, the chances of me visiting are very, very small. Gotcha. I don't know. Uh... Chandler said, Doug, came to, come to Utah, it's really close to Brazil and cheap as fuck. I don't think that's true. It's probably not. <laughs> I don't think that's true, Chandler, and you are a lying boy, so please don't lie, because then we'll believe you. And Neko, you do have a passport though, and I don't know. Lucky you, I guess. That'd be an interesting, interesting story to play with. What? Um, oh, a fantasy um, lion, lion story about a lying lion. Come again, a lying lion. A lying lion. Huh. I think it would be more of a, almost like a, for, at least in a furry's case, would be like almost like a vor, a vor thing. You know, the guy the lion lies and tries to bring him bring him into um, like a certain area and then devours them and then repeats the story over and over huh. until like something bigger than him um, comes up and eats him instead. Uh, for a moment, I was thinking more of a children's story because children oh, like yeah. like these it's, things it's, like like I don't know again. silly Sam or or fast Fer Ferdinand or something. So a lion lion. Would work, but yeah, we can always go to the war and do that sort of story as well. well I mean, it's either that or crying lion. Hmm. Well, that could we could go into some cool uh, drama stories too. These people get so emotional. <laughs> 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 Hey, I mean, it would work. There's a lot of potential for stories, actually. Uh, people are only not actually writing them or doing them. Because uh, there's potentials for stories and there's little stories happening all the place. If you just pick one and actually go and do it, uh, it has potential to grow. Mm hmm. But then again, getting to do it is the hardest part of the whole thing, so... But... Uh, okay, I think I have your body done, I've been kind of fiddling. I don't know why I do this when I'm... Uh, in these streams I keep fiddling with the drawing instead of actually making progress. I keep doing little adjusts here and there instead of actually trying to finish the piece, even though it's even even more so because this one is is a sketch. I don't need OCD and procrastination. Yeah, it's sort of like a procrastination, but it's sort of a, an active procrastination because it's not like I'm not working. I am working, but uh, in the work itself, I'm kind of a purpose. Of, I'm not progressing on purpose. I'm stalling for time. <laughs> uh... And I don't know why I do that. I just I, I think that my mind just can't work properly when I'm talking and working. Or, I'm sorry. Or something else I don't I don't know. But yeah. Oh no, I'm an issue. No. 